Hello and welcome to our sixth Tech Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to be going into Hangouts on Air and how to set that up. Setting up Hangouts on Air is a little different now than it was a few months ago. It now uses YouTube uh, and YouTube live streaming rather than Hangouts itself, at least to launch it. Once you're inside, you'll be in, in regular Hangouts. But setting it up, recording it, and viewing it, and all that is done through YouTube, not Google Plus anymore. So the first thing you need to do is go to youtube.com and click on the blue sign in button at the top. You may be asked to sign into your account or choose the account you'd like to use, in which case then you get logged into YouTube. At that point, your interface at the top right will have your portrait and uh, an upload button. You can either click the upload button and then choose live events, or you can go to your creator studio right here. I'm going to go through upload just to show you how that works and go through live streaming over here on the right. That takes you to the same screen that you would have gone to with the Creator Studio. Once you get here, you want to choose the events and then you want to enable live streaming if this is the first time you're doing this. So you go to enable live streaming. It's going to ask you to verify that you're a real person, not a robot. And you can have it either call you uh, with an automated voice message or you can have it text you the verification code to your phone. The call is good for landlines and so on. Once it does that, you need to put it in there. They'll call you or text you and then you put in the code. So hold on just a moment. I'll do that. Now, once you've put in the proper code that it sent you, it will tell you that your account is now verified. That means you can now record or upload videos that are more than 10 minutes long and that's required to do live streaming on your account. So then you hit continue and you have an option now to create a live event. So we'll click on create live event and this is where you fill out the information about the event. Now your Google Hangout on Air is really just a, a live streamed event. Um, you can control a lot of it so um, you can make it just be a personal thing that you're just recording a screen capture like you're doing a lecture or a Google Slides presentation or something or you can make it a big collaborative event where you know up to 15 people get together and have a public discussion and so on and it can be live streamed as well as recorded. But I'm going to show you how to do the private one because that's the use case that's more common in our college. So we're going to go over here and you fill out the title. Just call this a Demo Hangout on Air. And I'm going to say it starts today right now, but if I need to, I can schedule it for another time in the future. But I'm just going to make it uh, happen today right now. Description is optional. Tags are optional. The big thing you need to focus on here is the privacy. Do you want this to be public on your YouTube channel, to be searchable? and to be broadcast on Google Plus, or do you want this to be unlisted, which means anyone can get to it using the links, but it does not show up in Google searches. This is actually very useful and the most common solution. Private is only viewable by you and anyone that you specifically share it with. The problem with that is that you can't just send people a link to the Hangout at that point because uh, you have to explicitly add them. So the most common use case is unlisted. It does not turn up in search engines. It does not show up on YouTube in any way unless you know the exact URL to go to. And the type is, leave that as quick, Google Hangouts on Air. Now there's some advanced settings here. I'll just show that here. You can pause the video and kind of take a look at some of these. But basically most of this stuff is beyond the scope of this very quick tutorial. So then I'll say go live now and it's going to launch Google Hangouts and so on. So it says ready to go. We're about to launch a Google Hangout on Air. You're in the Hangout. I'm going to resize this window. And it's going to ask you, can it use your microphone and camera? And you say, yeah, just allow it. Your camera should come on. Now mine is not currently working. You would see your camera here. If you turn your camera off, just like in Hangouts, it'll just show your profile uh, and so on. You are not yet recording until you hit that start broadcast button at the bottom. So this is kind of like your green room. You can come in here and you can invite more people to this. Um, you can make this just be you only. You can share your screen, in which case, let's say you have something you'd like to put up there and, and demo like you're doing a lecture. You can go up and choose to share your screen or even an application window if you've got something else up that you'd like to show. Right, so um, anything that you're doing on the screen will then get broadcast as your video feed. And at some point, you're going to want to start the broadcast itself. The broadcast then actually starts the recording. So again, you can kind of... Uh, get the lighting set up if you've got if you're filming people or set up your screen or anything else you may want to do and then when you're ready to record you hit start broadcast so it's going to warn you that it's about to start broadcasting that's fine it takes a moment for it to initialize it then you're going to you're going to see the uh the live indicator up here uh, you can see down here the button turns into a stop broadcasting so at this point you can record it's getting your audio it's getting your video from either your webcam or your uh your screen or anything else it's getting other participants in here if you need to 
whatever, everything that's happening in this Hangout is being live streamed to YouTube. Now to get the link for this live or after the recording, you just go down here to the bottom where it says links and you can then copy this link right there and share that with people to watch live or you can wait and share that after the broadcast. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop broadcast and then it's been terminated successfully and at this point I can go ahead and close out of our Hangout. When I come back to my live events page, I will see that there's a demo there and I will get a thumbnail once it's finished processing but if I go ahead and click on it, I'm at the YouTube page there. You can now see it's already got the recording there, about 49 seconds of it. It's live on YouTube, it is currently unlisted and I can share it with anyone uh, at this point and be good to go. Okay, that's as short as I can make it for this Tech Tuesday tutorial. Thanks, guys.